then you have to be comfortable. So get out something that you're used to wearing, something you'd wear around the house. Make something that you know how to cook and you've tried at least once, twice, preferably three or four times before and had success with. And now the important part, the booze. So let's start with something that you would drink solo, without food, and kind of get her going, impress her a little bit. Half bottle of champagne. This says, I don't want to get you wasted right away, but we're going to be working on it tonight. Perry Jouet is perfect because it has the name. It's going to be the most expensive thing that we feature this evening. Um, but it gets the first impression going right away. Plus, bubbles are sexy. And chicks dig them. Um, so make sure it's chilled. This is our fridge. I recently took it out of the fridge. Um, so do that. Open it. Make a little pop. Get the night going. Proper stemware. Very important. You want to show her that you're not in college anymore. You're not a kid. You're an adult with adult glasses in your house. Adult glasses or champagne glasses. Very thin, sexy. You can get them really cheap. I mean, economy hardware even has them, maybe like $3, crate and barrel. Anywhere, do yourself a favor, pick up at least two, maybe four. So I got dinner going, as you can see. We're drinking champagne. Dinner's not quite done yet. I need to kind of figure out how to make like the, the transition from you know, dinner, from the champagne to the next course. I'm not really clear what's next. What we should do is keep the booze aflowing. As soon as that uh, last little tip of the champagne glass, yeah. let's get the next wine. So first things first, have the table ready when she gets there. Therefore, you're not scrambling around with silverware yeah. while she's trying to get comfortable. So be like, table set, the candles are burning, the champagne's just about to finish. Be like, well, you know, I just got one thing left to do with dinner. Leave her on her own, let her think about how amazing you are and what a great job you've done and how good dinner smells. Come over, finish whatever you have and leave like only like 5% of the dinner left. So you want like maybe to toss a salad. You should have everything ready, maybe just simmering on the stove now. Okay. So you're plating it up and you're serving it, but get the wine ready. Mm -hmm. So we have a couple options for you here. First is a nice Riesling. Yeah. Now this is if you are doing something that's like chicken, fish, you know, yeah. obviously, with white. Um, what you want to do is get kind of like a nice boutique type wine. You want to do something big name. We've already pulled out the big name for the first, first course, so let's do um, something that's less well known, a little inexpensive, and you can find great selections. Any local wine shop should be able to help you. Also you can check out the Second Glass. Our Wine of the Weekend is always a good option. Um, and lets you know like what pairs well with what and how you can impress her. Plus, if you can find out a little information on the wine that you are serving, like hit the web, do a little Google search, maybe have one sentence about what the wine is like, why you like it, yeah. to impress her a little bit with your wine knowledge. I can do this. So this is a very nice Riesling. For reds, we'd recommend doing something light. You don't want to go too heavy. Um, you don't want to go overboard in the sense, especially if you're not entirely sure of what she likes to drink. Um, this is a nice Cote de Rhone. Always a good selection, plus it sounds sexy and French, so it might impress her a little bit, get her in the mood. Um, or Pinot Noir is always a good selection as well. So that is what you do. You want to pop that probably around the time you're about to serve the food. Okay. Do a little finesse, fill the glasses, and keep the night rolling into dessert. This is incredibly helpful. <laughs> you're going to make that quite a night for me here. I'm hoping. Okay. It's going to be here soon. <laughs> You had a great evening. Did 
dinner was fantastic. You cooked everything to a T. She loved every last bite, and you had fantastic conversation the whole way through. Now the plates are cleared, the wine bottle's empty. What are you gonna go from here? Is she gonna leave? Do you call her a cab? But you're not really ready for the night to be over yet. So you're gonna have to bring out a little something to entice her. Jared. I'm coming, I'm coming. What are we learning now? Well, I'm gonna tell you how you can get her to stay maybe for a little nightcap. Okay. Otherwise known as dessert wine, the lady killer. Why dessert wine? Well, first of all, it's sweet. Okay. And it's rare. I mean, not a lot of people can have dessert wine these days. And to really, like, lay out the red carpet, give mm -hmm. her the whole experience, little bubbles, the wine with dinner, and then you offer her dessert wine, which is classy, sophisticated, sexy, and sweet. Okay, okay, I can do this. Yeah, I bet you can. I'll have to pick some up. I mean, I guess that's all I have to tell you. You're going to have to do the rest for yourself. It's going to be amazing. Oh, whoa, 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 you are so oh, happy. No. Let's go. She's here. Come on. Okay, I know I really shouldn't, but I'm dying to know what's going on in there. Maybe we should take a little peek. I guess my work here is done. Stay tuned for next time when I tell you ladies how to nab your men. Now off for my own adventure. <laughs>